Within this video, we're gonna be talking about using the urban feature here inside of Twinmotion to get yourself a start by using a real world location. And a couple of little things about troubleshooting when you're adding materials to objects, if you're gonna go ahead and use this feature. To begin this process, I'm just gonna have a completely and totally blank scene. So first thing we need to do is actually come right down here to this little context button right here. And then we wanna go ahead and use the urban feature right here. So we're gonna click on that. Now we're gonna get a map down here at the very bottom of this. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my little search bar down here in the bottom right to go ahead and search for a specific location. And because I'm pretty close to Denver in Colorado, I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. Next, I basically wanna find the location that I want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Civic Center Park right here. And to use this section, I need to go ahead and click on this little button right here that'll allow me to choose this area that I want. Now you'll notice that the cursor will actually change as you hover over these corners. As of right now, I can't actually change the size of this thing. So instead, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just zoom out using my scroll wheel to capture a larger area. And what I wanna do is grab this little section right here and then just choose the grab button over here on the far right. It's gonna go ahead and start to download the pieces that it needs. Now this can take a little while, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and come back when it's completed. Now that this is actually completed, let's take a look at what we've actually got. So I can go ahead and just navigate around in here and let's go ahead and turn my camera speed up. I'll press five on the keyboard and I wanna point something out specific. So if we look at this object, there's something going on here that I want to make very, very clear. This is an approximation of the actual architecture that's here. It's not a perfect one-to-one. -one. So what do I mean by that? Well, this actually looks like this. So you can see we don't actually get all the columns and all of the details that are going on inside of this. So that's something to be aware of. Now let's go ahead and add materials to these objects. And one of the things that you're gonna run into when you try to do this. So over here inside of my library, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the materials section right up here, this first one. And let's go ahead and just put bricks on this because it's gonna make this really obvious. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this first clean brick. I'm gonna click and I'm going to drag it over to this area and I'm gonna give it just a moment. And then when I let go, you'll notice nothing happens. You're like, well, great, that doesn't help at all. Well, to actually get these to change, there's something that we need to understand, and that is that they don't have UVs. So we need to add UVs to them and add the material at the same time. To do this, what we need to do is come down to this little button right here, and I'm gonna click and hold on it, and I'm gonna go ahead and choose the very top one up here. This is cubic UVs. Go ahead and let go. Now, when I click and drag one of these materials onto this object, you will notice that I get all of the bricks on everything, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Next, let's go ahead and zoom in over right here and take a look at what's actually going on. And you'll notice that these bricks are kind of tiny and that's not really gonna help us. So we're gonna use our scale right here and I can click and drag this up and down and I can change the actual size of our bricks like so. Let's go ahead and back that up so that looks much better than what we had before. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to the grass and the concrete and the actual asphalt as well. So nice, now that we've got all of these on here, we've actually got a pretty decent start for our entire little world. Now you may notice that there's a little section over here that's been flickering, I apologize if that's giving you a headache, but you can actually just click on the road or the grass that's right there and you can actually move these around, just find the gizmo and I can just hover over this and we say 0 0.01 and that's gonna lift it up just enough so it no longer actually flickers. And of course I can always push that down too so we can say negative 0.01. There we go, and now it's actually set down underneath there. Now at any time, if you wanna go ahead and change the materials on these objects, it's actually really simple to do. Just go ahead and choose your pipette right here and then go ahead and choose on the object. And this will allow you to go ahead and manipulate the material that is on that object. So there you have it. Now you have a way of getting a good start and actually setting up that good start when you wanna build something inside of Twinmotion. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you when I have a chance.